weekend and be the Atlanta phase everyone knows like we're gonna win. I didn't think that after 3 0 in Seattle, it was going to go like just 3 0s, 3 0s, 3 0s. Selium is here to try and find a break. Seattle's just about holding here, though. I got it. He's got it. That's it. That's it. One break. They probably needed to stack it with a few more. What's up? Summit. I mean, we played really good COD. Uh, and like COD is sometimes it can be day to day. But... And help has arrived, but maybe not in time. Semtex. Denies Atlanta entry. Attach furthers the point. It's all gotta be from the front. 246 to 246. Attach trying to spam things up. Vance watching the cross. It's 248 to 246. Selium not quite able to break. It has to be Slasher. And he's not quite able to secure the kills. One of the offenses, I'm on A. It's not even healthy. I'm on, I'm on A for the entire time. I'm just not even healthy. In the Minnesota series, was obviously we got 3 0 kind of got smoked. Things weren't really going our way. We made some mistakes. And we also kind of played the vetoes a little weird. Uh, trying to test some maps. Like I said, the qualifiers are not only about making it to winner's bracket, but trying to expand the map pool. New York series uh, was like literally the longest series ever because we had a lot of technical difficulties. We ended up going last map, and then that's when all the server lag was going on. Bro, no, absolutely not. No, that's not on any of us. That we're literally behind a kid about to shoot in the back. I was literally behind, behind the guy. Like I had a free no. job. <laughs> I don't know who's making the decisions, but no. It's not happening again. There is a lot of BS in that map, but we ended up clutching up and playing really well. It was Embassy, which is like our go-to, and we're just gross at that map. So it was good to get a win against uh, a top team like that. Oh, you gave the pick, bro. <laughs> you got me fighting. Oh, I think they touched me. You are. You're touching. I'm touching it. How gross is that? Someone came in my bag. <laughs> yeah. Tuesday we landed. It was it was pretty cool. It, it reminded me of like New York a little bit with like how like the buildings were and stuff. So it was pretty cool. And then as the days went on, like it was getting colder and colder. And one day I remember it was like I was outside and we walked outside and it literally felt like it was like water hitting my my legs. I'm like, bro, not. Nah, I can't do this. So it was pretty cool that whole the whole weekend. I didn't have time to go get breakfast this morning, so I need to find a breakfast restaurant around here, but. So I'm not trying to eat Starbucks every day. I have to eat so much now. Man. I'm only trying to eat like 3k calories a day. We basically have three times a day. At least. And it's like all healthy shit. We are supposed to start so at 30 percent No, dude, you don't understand. So, so with the fucking CDL coach accounts, bro, I've told Pac the account info upwards of 50 plus times, and every single day we put SMD, he's like, what's the info? I don't I don't know what to say. Who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, when we land on Tuesday, that day is pretty much pretty simple. It's just about getting situated in your hotel, going out to a team dinner, just kind of like vibing, enjoying your like day off, I guess you could say. And then Wednesday is obviously like media, doing interviews or whatever, practicing, kind of just getting back in the tournament mode and making sure we're on point and stuff like that and starting to talk about who we're going to play on Thursday, getting warmed up getting prepared, you know, eating if you want to eat, getting caffeine, whatever it may be. What the fuck? She did it. I don't know. She got the wrong one. Like she got two different. That might be enough to fuck. Who the fuck are we playing today, bro? Like, let me, yeah. And then Thursday is when it all begins. Bottom match the hell on him? Four games. Wait, Chris, don't you have a Alright, we go top boat, like, we still look at me. Like, like, instant look at gate and chow. Like, he might be in that corner, like, gate side. He might go straight through. Same shit, though. Let's do our break. Make sure we get in the hill and chip. As long as we're getting in the hill and chip, we're playing through, like, we're working. You got to do a really good trip. Same mentality. You know what? Can they get a win here in Boston? Let's find out. Get ready, because Atlanta's about to phase up on the stage. We got the man himself. Win 
Vivid is here. Vivid and Nero holding the back line down. Slasher opens up a window, finds his way in. You gotta go now, phase. 10 seconds for the win. Boston holding the line. Here comes Selium, taking care of. Nero gets two. That is it. That's game. Throw in the towel. A uh, pen against Boston and knowing that they had the full home kind of advantage. Uh, I mean, to me, it's the same thing. I feel like every event is never really our fan favorites. One minute on the clock. Selium lines it up. Here comes the trade. Abizi dives for safety. Perfectly timed. The skies are no longer a safe place. Slasher out there. It's done. Wow. There we go. Sim. Last possible second. And the reverse sweep is complete. Well, we knew going into, I believe it was Mercado Hardpoint after being down 2 1, we knew that that was like, we're really good at that map. I'm in the quad. I don't get dark. I don't get dark. I don't get dark. I don't get dark. Game. You just expected Lana to end this game here and honestly did so without breaking a sweat. Oh man, Selium has just gone insane. 25 and 8. Looking for a few more. His boys are in and that will be game 5. And like obviously our SD is so good that like after we won that map, we had all the momentum on our side. So I knew that if we took that hard point, then going into the last map, we had a really good chance. Bruce Mitchell's certainly going to give you the intel. Oh, we have to scramble for safety right now. Abyss is going to catch Nero out. That's a great start. Here we go. Threads the needle. Bang! Takes care of Vivid. Magnificent work from Slasher. We'll find out if he's got what it takes in this very difficult situation. And he's moving. Oh, that's a bad time to reload. I've been doing this SD thing for a long time. Now. I've been pick, picking apart the defense left and right. <laughs> what was the funniest shit to me is the round where I tried to flank and I didn't kill the guy junk. You know what I'm talking about? I ran back and instantly knew a guy was gonna peek me money and Tyler was like, yo, he might be money. I was like, oh I know. I was like, I was already I was already repo I was hey, I was in a repo, Nick. A quick little repo. <laughs> Dude, I was about to go on the crowd and fucking brawl with someone, no bullshit. Why? Why? <laughs> I was in the crowd like chirping me the whole time I was doing the interview. You have a fucking shit haircut of easy, fuck you. <laughs> so we ended up going game five versus Boston and we ended up winning 6-0. I was feeling pretty confident because it's usually the, like, the saying is pretty much like the first match is always the hardest, which I feel like is pretty like accurate. Because it's like, you roll up, you roll up game pretty much and like, there's, you're just getting the, the feel of things. So, after that match I was feeling really, very confident, like moving on. Fred, how is it? It's fine. I actually, I actually like it a lot. Yeah. It's fine. But it's, the only bad thing is like, it's only a small piece, you know. So, yeah, I, I can deal with this for now. I'm still starving though. Bottom of it. Oh, it's it's awesome. Awesome. I'll give it a eight. I'll give it an eight. I got her here. I see it in your eyes, Anthony. You want to try it? I mean, it looks good, but I want to see him try it first. This one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, okay. good. Like, I heard that the first. What's the dilemma right now? What's going on here? <laughs> it's been like 15 minutes. I don't have my food yet. I'm starving. Everyone's waiting for me, so I'm like, I feel bad. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Hugh. Thank you. Right, thank you. Alright, MC. First bite, you know the rules. One bite, you take a free bite. One bite, MC, you give it a rating. One out of ten. What's the rating, MC? I mean, I think it's late. I would say like eight, nine out of ten. That's fine. Yeah. I actually noticed. Um, Jason, his family in the crowd, when we played Boston. Um, cause it's funny, cause the whole crowd was booing us. There's like one person cheering for us, was obviously Jace. Uh, yeah! Literally, Jace couldn't win us! After we won, like the crowd was all quiet, but he was in the front, like on his dad's shoulders, something like that, like throwing up the stuff. So I was waving to him and I think the stream actually caught it. I was waving to him and throwing up the phase up to him. So we ended up meeting Jace, uh, I believe he was eight years old um he's a he's a great kid um him and his family were actually really good people and
you know, I, it was a crazy feeling because having kids like that like look up to you is a, uh, it makes you feel really good. That's for sure. And uh, that was a cool experience um it's always good to meet some fans especially younger kids like that who are super passionate about um call of duty and just gaming in general so that was a sweet moment for us against toronto i know they're like a top team and uh i know people think highly play very highly of them but for me i'm not i'm not scared to play anyone you know i'm just i'm here to win right now they're able to find multiple kills but there's just two players left from phase with slasher trying to do what he can Eight more points needed now. They can get it done. Big gunfight win. Slasher popping off on five in a row down the stretch. Is anybody close enough? Not looking that way. Phase. I mean, I just expected if we just played our game, then, you know, we could do our thing. And that's kind of what happened. We just, throughout the whole match, like kind of in that flow state, just absolutely frying. Miss Simp with the Denny. With the Denny. There's a reset. This man has not died yet. Someone's going to be on the defuse. That's clean. That's the Nate. Not going to connect, but he. He's gonna find it now a one-on-one. Oh. Sip up to oh. eight and no. Oh. Can they find up DZ? What's the time he's gonna be like? He snaps on a one. He's gonna back on up very close to Deddy. So if he waits for this, he will have Deddy, but he's gonna chase it. He's gonna chase without it. He has a nade if he wants to use it. He's gonna tap the bomb. Just try to bait out Scrap right here in this one-on-one. -on -one. Again with the info. Again with the info. And Abizi just playing this. With confidence right now, a BZ is no gonna get to the fuse no in Atlanta Bays. Going into the match against Toronto, just play our game. Same, simple as that. Um, make sure we, we take home the SNDs because I feel like nobody's gonna beat us in three respawns. Stick stick to our game plan, not do anything too crazy, trust each other. Just the basics like that, pretty much. We always do that. We we'll always usually come on top. Sim gonna be really the last man here. On to the point they go. The stack is in. How many points of progress can they get? A BZ gonna be the first to call on a streak. Receiver, he's able to wrap this right on to the point. Two will get smoked off of it, and one bit of that added utility thrown into the mix. To his teammates, the final push. Ten seconds, Ultra has to go. Five lives, they're on to the point. No trophies down. Seldo not ready for the first one. Can they clutch on up? But it's a BZ and Sim trying to get this one done with. In a quick 3-0 fashion, Atlanta phase. Moving on to our winner's bracket final. It's Scrap getting it taken down. I was just calling the hell of shit to do, and I was like, all right. Bro, what, dude, dude you went, every time you guys were in a 2 do something, bro, one of you guys just started getting fucking loose with it, bro. I love it. Our comms, you hey, were going to say that. Our comms are actually gone like that. Like, actually perfect. Yeah. 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 Not a single map is close at any point. Absolute clobber. Absolute clobber. Definitely didn't expect to see Minnesota in the top three, but it's not like surprising. We definitely had a lot of learning from the first time we played them when they threw out us online. Abizi continues to find picks to try and get towards the point, but who's going to follow it up? Afro, next up the bat. Slasher is there, the trade is in, the time is there. Cell just gets onto the point. You can't close it out, but now you gotta race it. They should the have match. it here, they should have it. I don't think anyone can get there. Nobody gonna get there in time. They're definitely the slowest, kind of like rattiest team in the league, in my opinion, like the way they play, and especially in like control. And I feel like they just play it so ratty that it's like so hard to, sometimes it's hard to counter because you just can't find them. Don't count them out yet. Can Vance get him one? Afro's good for three or four. No, he's not. He's gone. Afro just gets rinsed. Sip able to take him out. Got to hike it across. Not going to get there in time. The defuse is through and phase. We'll tie us up and we're seeing a map four. Let's go, crowd. We got a map four. 
I saw it as a revenge game. I, I know they were like the Dark Horse going into the tournament, just because based on the performance online and stuff, so... I wanted to revenge after they beat us. Yo, you still have a life advantage if you are phased, just not a ton of time. The clock working against you, maybe the opening. There's a first slasher behind enemy lines. They're trying to spot him. Oh, oh, no! We've all been there, that sucks. The auto mantle, it's gonna end up costing Three dead, you. No. Abizi wins one, under 10 seconds to go. Can't quite take out the second, can they get to the point? Five seconds, Slasher's gotta go. Everybody's scrambling, just has to get on, able to get there, does get dropped, and Rocker! They hold on! There it's were some few unfortunate plays, like we lost 3-2, but there were so many different opportunities where we could have walked through with winning that. 26 and 17, though, is this duo. The Tiny Terror is taking over. This is when they are so scary. Five in a row for Abizi, but as you said, there is no break here for Rocker. Both. It's already a 110-point lead. They take their time, and they're able to get in. They can close it out here. 15 points needed, 25 left on the hard point. The skirmish is going out around the point but busting on through one kill is a team kill they line up for sell and they get cut down Cellian wants no part of it it's looking it's feeling like a map five they're a good team they could definitely put it together and fight for championships and they kind of did that this weekend preparing for them um i think it, we definitely had a lot of learning from the first time we played them when they threw out us online so we played the vetoes differently and made sure to get different maps and then also we just kind of like had a better feel for how they play the game. You can just see how tough it is as the bomb planner on this map. Afro tries to open the door. Simp is there. And well, Simp is still there. Sometimes in desperation mode, it feels like FaZe just lets Simp go. Try to make those plays. It slashes on the board. Up the gut to find that oh first no. blood, and he is out of there. Waiting on him, that's sort of what you have to do. Cammy with Deddy popped. He's just sort of looking to jump out. Okay. Abizi looking for the ace in the round. It did it to a round 11. And he spotted him, he spots him, he's hunting. He is hunting him right now. There's the heady, there's the help. The Deddy pop, put the stuns and nades everywhere. It's simp with an opening. Maybe another one, get some tags in, not able to take it. The patience is there right now for Abizi as he's gonna back up for now. It's just on the other side of the map, and he gets caught. Now is it a rotation over to B? What's the play? Call. Afro. Rocker, no. Rocker knows. He got the information. One on the cross. Oh, no. That's what going in. The, the, oh, hello. No, 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 no. Attach is going to drop. It's all going to be on the Afro now. One versus three. 40 to go. The child on the edge. Able to win it. What is that gunfight? A bit ambitious. Down 5 3. Are they back into another final? It's looking that way. Grabbed him. Oh, so you didn't know you had bomb the whole time? I was saying, oh, I, was, I kept saying, plant the bomb, plant the bomb. I was like, I was saying the same thing. And then, plant the bomb. And then Chris said, you have the bomb. I'm like, oh shit. I ran straight in the kitchen. He was on the awning of that like kitchen thing on top of it, like literally floating oh, in there. Yeah. Yeah. And he shot at me, and he literally just got shit on. Like he like oh, jumped down and got show. slammed. It didn't show it. Immediate thoughts was, I'm back in the grand finals, and uh, you know, eyes forward to that grand finals and focus on trying to win that. And yeah, I was just excited to fight for another championship. You know, you don't get that opportunity every day of the week, so being in a big moment like that, I obviously love playing the big matches, and I feel like it's the most fun time period as a Call of Duty competitor is being able to fight for a championship and be the best team in the world. Both of these teams looking nearly unstoppable, but there can only be one. Let's get into it. A phase are in position. Own boys got to go big. And all those kills, but only one player actually spawns out. Only seven seconds to go. The contest is not yet in. LA Thieves, they got to fly. They got to fly. Go, go, go. Two seconds! Here comes a big one! The stick lands, but it doesn't take care of business. Selium dies! Can you make the play? I mean, Slasher last man standing. They don't want him alive, and they're gonna <laughs> take him down out of nowhere! No way! LA Thieves! They just got it done! The way they hold it down! It's done! It's another two-second hardpoint game! First map was, like, just a straight-up toss out of us. I think we all, like knew that that was the toss because we should have won that map. BZ crossed before they even called it in. Now he gets to have the information, but BZ, he's Hello. in base. For Hello. Games. The movement is great, not for the kill, oh. but you got a BZ in position. Take the long route, get that bomb back, and a BZ and Simp, they've got all the angles covered. Yep. Okay, this is, this is dire. We're never really 
worried or like out of a series or anything like that. We're all pretty, I want to say motionless, but in a sense, like until the other team has won four maps and a best of seven, like we're still in it. The only thing that matters is the map we're on now. Sims now 2-0 and in the fisty cuffs here in the series. Guns up from Selian, but wait, there's another hit here. LA Thieves can get on the point. They can stop the clock. Obizzi though on the flag. Oh, Jesus, this is how it ends. Diving in. Kenny got to win this fight. Can't get it done. That's the round. Out here. Wait a minute. Star by no, that's the They're getting closer and closer to the point. A BC though from behind. Catches out one. You do get on the point for now. Less than 10 to go. And they've cleared out their base, so they know everybody else is coming off spawn. You gotta worry about mid, you gotta worry about the front. Here comes the hit. A BC, everything being thrown at them. He wins the single fight. There it is. Trades are done. It's down. Cannot take it on the point. Stay alive. He does win a fight. Selium's up next. I mean, 2v8. What can you do? You got the trophy, but that's the only good news. Bad news. Octane is by himself. The eight spree. Ah. They're a really good hotel control team, and we had like learned a lot from the online stages, especially me. We had like the wrong philosophy, so we kind of made some tweaks to that. Faze so holding it down for now. Kenny gets in. That's a clean kill. Kenny holds on and help with a break. His teammates there. Draza finds another one. Can't get any more. Simp and slash. And now fly forward. Have they got the numbers? No. Octane, the guns are up. It's done. It's 10 seconds. Take care of them now. It's all down to Selium. Loses the fight. Right here. Let's, let's, let's 1v2. Can he deliver? There's the first octane. He knows where he's at. He's oh, got no. him stunned. He's got him made it. Oh, now no. you just gotta gun him down. That's the round. One planted. Octane. Nowhere is safe. So he just runs down. straight out. No, you're not safe! We told you, Sam! And it's just to once again turn the tables. Trades there once again. All down to a BZ. And what a round. It would be a 1v1 now. Dancing around in a silo! Leading into a 5-5, like, as soon as we won that map, it was just, they were chalked. Because they knew in the back of their heads that they should have won that round and they could have closed the map out. He's going to be inside. The bomb, only 20 seconds left. They're trying to make the play. You see what's happening. But Atlanta phase, read it like a book, and they're going to get minute. it done. It's not over yet. LaRouge! Oh, yeah. no! If LA Thieves start finding a couple kills, you can hop that zone and get those six fast, but Atlanta Phase does not care. Oh, They're no. picking you oh. apart. Another four-man wipe. And he's going to fall. And on, boy, it's the same direction. The pressure's always there. And only 10 seconds to go. LA Thieves so far away. And they just got bullied. Slasher right now is just skeet shooting. 10 and 2. Having all the fun in the world. You're looking towards the end of the round, unless someone can get in there and stop it. Can anyone be there? No. We are running out of time in 20 seconds. FaZe are your champions. FaZe, they have arrived. One more kill could seal it. They're just going to kill everyone along the way. This is it for FaZe. Wait a minute. Get the job done. No. Two piece for Slasher. 16 and 6, and that time is ticking. Slasher holding it down. Five seconds as the guns are still red hot. We've checked the forecast. Oh my God! I mean, we're just hype. We're just, we're excited. We're finally, you know, we're finally back on top after a year and a half, because I mean, we got second all last year, so it definitely felt amazing to be back up there on the stage with the trophy and everything. I don't know, just super excited, happy, um, especially because like, obviously joining this team, like there's a lot of pressure on me to perform and like, just like, it was a super happy moment for us, it validated all the hard work we put in and um, yeah, just happy to keep going forward and hopefully get some more. That's just one job, like one small job leading up to the big one, so you know, I just look at it as, as kind of like a, like kind of like just a small step leading it, leading up to the big one. So we got to keep up the hard work, obviously, and um, keep going super hard throughout the whole year, um, so we can win the win the big one.